Spinal injuries result when only the bony structures and or ligaments are damaged. Though the area affected will probably need to be immobilized until it heals, the spinal cord is not affected. When an injury involves the spinal cord, the flow of messages between the brain and the rest of the body is interrupted or cut off. This interruption results in a decrease or loss in movement and or sensation below the level of injury. The higher the level of injury, the more the body is affected. The 33 vertebrae that make up the spine are separated into five groups. At the bottom of the spine, there are four coccygeal vertebrae. These bones are fused and make up the tailbone, otherwise known as the coccyx. Above these are five sacral vertebrae, called S1 to S5. These are also fused. Nerves from this level supply the pelvic region. The five lumbar vertebrae in the lower back are called L1 to L5. Injuries at these levels can affect leg and foot function. There are 12 thoracic vertebrae in the chest. These are called T1 to T12. Injuries at these levels can affect leg and the chest and abdominal muscles. At the top of the spine, there are seven cervical vertebrae in the neck. These are called C1 to C7. Injuries at these levels can affect lower limbs, chest and abdominal muscles, as well as diaphragm, arm, wrist and hand function. When damage occurs higher up in the spine, there is a greater loss of function. Injuries to the spinal cord are called complete or incomplete. A complete injury means that there is no transmission of messages beyond the level of injury. This results in no sensation and no voluntary movement below this area. An incomplete injury means that some messages are being transmitted. These messages can either be movement and or sensation. Injuries to the spinal cord are also divided into two groups, paraplegia and quadriplegia. Paraplegia refers to the paralysis of the lower limbs and lower trunk, resulting from thoracic or lumbar injuries. Quadriplegia refers to paralysis of both upper and lower limbs, resulting from cervical injuries.